Why don't we introduce a speed round? Yeah. Is something a perimenopausal woman is unlikely to say, and yet here we are. <laughs> I'm going to give you some completely hypothetical situations, and if you're guilty of these charges, I want you to hold up your patented guilty paddle. Ooh. Now. I'm having a little soiree after the show. <laughs> <laughs> Turned into Sean Bean. <laughs> <laughs> and I've asked Lou here to help me decorate because, well, frankly, I can't be asked. So, <laughs> panel, you've got as long as it takes Lou to untangle this mess of fairy lights to thrust yourself into the lead. OK, there we go. Please raise your paddle if you are guilty of... Avoiding a speeding ticket because the officer who pulled you over was somebody you'd previously had sexy times with. <laughs> Stealing your mum's child support benefit money to buy a gazebo for your garden, which blew away an hour later. <laughs> Shitting yourself at school and blaming the smell on the stinky kid. <laughs> then having your mum remove the crusty shit at the end of the day with a butter knife. Oh, oh my God. Impersonating a police officer while in an Uber in order to intimidate the driver. Wow, I like that. <laughs> and now I do it every time. <laughs> Trying to punch a colleague while on a nationwide tour of cheese sampling after getting into a fight because you didn't believe she was a ballerina. <laughs> Throwing up out of the window of a taxi doing 70 mph down the A13 that stripped the paint off the car, then doing a runner without paying. <laughs> Finished! <laughs> Lou, disaster. I'd booked us a very special guest as a treat for the end of the show, but they haven't turned up, OK? I need you to blow up this doll and dress it and finish it off with this mask, OK? Oh, hang on, then that's everyone... my rider. That's it, oh, sorry. <laughs> then everyone will think that Nigel Havers has actually joined us for the finale. Just <laughs> let me do that. Panel, you have until Lou has finished this little craft project to convince me that one of you is the ruddy worst. She's blowing, here we go. <laughs> Are any of you guilty of the following? Stealing a pen from reception. <laughs> Putting a video of your colonic on social media. hotel after leaving to tell them I've left a shit in the toilet please can you go flush it for me <laughs> oh my god greeting a crowd at the kitchen and bathroom awards with a what's up motherfuckers <laughs> <laughs> keep blowing getting so drunk on honeymoon you attempted and thankfully failed to punch fish while snorkeling <laughs> Real mark of Lindsay, that one. Wanking over a copy of The Sun onto your gravel drive after getting overstimulated with your first beer. <laughs> Had to be Joel. Getting your willy out at Glastonbury. <laughs> <laughs> Omid. <laughs> Were you on the pyramid stage? It was the year the Glastonbury cabaret tent was rained off. There was only about 50 people there, and Malcolm Hardy oh. had been emceeing naked, and he said to me, before I get you on, I'm going to shoot a firecracker out my arse. So he, <laughs> he shot this firecracker, which exploded and burnt his anus, <gasps> and he got me on, and I couldn't get them laughing, and I said to the crowd, did anyone want to see my cock? So I dropped my trousers, and someone said, can't see it. <laughs> And through the corner of my eye, I saw Malcolm Hardy come back on, naked, with smoke emanating around his <laughs> anus, saying, you've got to get off, you're embarrassing yourself. <laughs> that is marvellous. <laughs> Finished! Oh, no! <laughs> it's Nigel Havers. He's got a wide on. <laughs> now. <laughs> right, panel, you got a speeding ticket. You've lied to the police about Ed Gamble having a piss in the street, even though it was clear that a stream of urine was flowing <laughs> from where he was. <laughs> Nish, thank you. Sneezing on your hands and wiping it somewhere. Yeah, all three of you. Blocking someone's toilet. Just Ruby. 
putting a sanitary towel on your neck and pretending it was a bandage for whiplash to get out of doing sport at school. <laughs> Ruby. Thank you. <laughs> Taking part in an orgy and ejaculating into a woman's suitcase. Ruben. <laughs> wow. Ruben. Wow. Imagine if you all put your paddle up for that. <laughs> It was the cast of Cirque du Soleil were in town, and so we decided to have a... I've fucked more acrobats than Cirque du Soleil's legal team. Like, it's a thing. It was Jerk du Soleil. There. <laughs> nice. We've wrapped Lou up in chains, and she must escape. Give us a wave, Lou. It's a busman's holiday for me. <laughs> <laughs> Just call her Lou Dini. <laughs> Paddles up, team, if you are guilty of any of the following. Telling a nun to fuck off. Guilty. For breezing your smelly pet dog instead of bathing it. Sneaking into the cinema en masse to confuse the ticket salesman and only therefore paying for half the amount of tickets. Guilty. Whoa. Ruining a juice retreat with Alison Hammond and Rob Rinder by sneaking off for cake. Me! Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Slapping people in the ears for fun, but giving them tinnitus. That sounds so... Out of context, that sounds so bad. <laughs> Guilty of losing the role of Doctor Who by telling everyone that you were about to get the role of Doctor Who. Oh! Ray! Ray! True. <laughs> I wouldn't be here now, would I? <laughs> <laughs> That's so true! Being a bad girlfriend and dumping boyfriends before Christmas because you can't deal with the hassle of it all. <laughs> that a hell? Chasing your sister's friend down the street to see if she was OK, then realising it wasn't your sister's friend and just you were chasing a terrified stranger <laughs> down the street. Right, of course, it's Dan. Of it's course. Fame. Sorry, I'm a little parched. Some people like their water ice cold, some like it room temperature. Some people like to steal it, like Shirley Ballas. <laughs> <laughs> However, I like mine mouth temperature and Lou filtered. So, Lou, would you please be a darling and transfer that pint of water via a straw into my special glass and give it a mouth swish each time you do it? Good. Now, panel, you have until my special glass is full to persuade me that you are indeed the most unforgivable so raise your paddle if you are guilty of any of the following denting the bonnet of your ex-husband's car with some stilettos <laughs> during an argument <laughs> sneaking into scenes you weren't supposed to be in in order to get paid more much to the annoyance <laughs> of the producers of eastenders <laughs> Blocking your flatmates by crawling into bed with them. <laughs> Shooting your neighbour's garden gnomes to smithereens with an air rifle because you dislike them. <laughs> Force feeding another child a piece of bread slathered in butter, knowing it would make the child sick because they were intolerant. <laughs> Shirley Badass. <laughs> Telling their grandparents that Nigel Farage had said, all disabled people should be murdered in order to stop them voting for UKIP. <laughs> <laughs> Driving down a road and clipping every single wing mirror of every parked car while your children were screaming in the back and not stopping. <laughs> Finished! <laughs> oh, now caramba that's it we've reached the end of the show and the scores are bit oh thank you so much my love <laughs> now lou and i are in the running for a world record of the quickest time to eat five cream crackers unfortunately the only time the adjudicator could officiate was now <laughs> so you've got until it takes lou to eat that plate of crackers are you ready panel let's go Wasting the time of the emergency services by floating out to sea on a dinghy to chase hot boys on pedalos and needing to be rescued by the RNLI. <laughs> <laughs> Gate crashing a funeral by turning up to the wrong service and proceeding to mourn a stranger. 
Ardlo Hanlon. Doing a giant turd in the dressing room of esteemed broadcaster Andy Peters. Me. <laughs> Drinking your own piss after urinating into an apple juice carton and leaving it by your bed. <laughs> Vomiting on some German tourists from the dizzying heights of a Ferris wheel. <laughs> Stealing cheddar cheese just for the sheer thrill of it. <laughs> Eating your mother's expensive lipsticks because they were delicious. <laughs> Being sworn at by Morgan Freeman for failing to follow simple instructions by the director. Being the reason your former company had to add a no taking your trousers off policy <laughs> to the Christmas party rules. <laughs> Stealing jeans from your place of work and covering up your crime by putting a rampant rabbit in your bag to embarrass security staff from checking said bag. Daisy May Cooper, I knew it was you already. Freya! Oh, it's finished! Mm -hmm. Adjudicator, how many crackers did we get through? All of them. All of them. Brilliant. I'm throwing a 35th birthday party. Yes, for me. <laughs> and I've got 35 invitations to send out. Everybody's coming, from Fiona Bruce to the man who used to play Nunu on the Teletubbies. <laughs> so, Lou, could you do me a big favour and seal each invite into an envelope? Panel, you've got until Lou has finished this little tongue project to whack your paddles up and gain a further opportunity to become completely unforgivable. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yes. Lovely. Go. Peeing in a public pool. Come on. We've all done that. Come on. I don't even swim. <laughs> yeah, I did it in aquarobics last week. No. Being barred from a pub for being sick in every sink in said establishment. <laughs> Kissing your girlfriend at the arrival gate at the airport and shouting, you're my favourite sister. <laughs> <laughs> Getting so frustrated during a junior golf tournament that you lobbed your golf club at the floor and you had to be escorted away in a golf buggy by two adults. Oh. <laughs> It was a Scottish Junior Open, actually. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Buying flavoured condoms from a pharmacy and weirding out the cashier by shouting, my uncle calls these lollipops. <laughs> <laughs> Can you do that if you think, I'm going to do that tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Putting the two hamsters you received as a wedding present in the same cage, causing one of them to have a heart attack because it was so intimidated by the other. But, worse still, the other one then exploded in his tube. <laughs> in its tube? Yeah. Why? Why? Because Russian dwarf hamsters are prone to tumours. And so, at the end of his life, he had loads of tumours, took him to the vet, they said, there's nothing we can do, and one day, just went <laughs> and exploded. <laughs> <laughs> can I...? Just before we move on, I'd just like to... Uh, can I go on record? Is that right? Yeah. That's the most insane thing I've ever heard said on television. <laughs> Paddles up. If you are guilty of pretending to wet yourself if a non-disabled person is using the disabled toilets just to make them feel bad. <laughs> No one saw that coming. That's amazing. <laughs> Getting so drunk at the kids' BAFTA awards and using the acceptance speech to complain about the price of alcohol at the event. <laughs> Sterling. No. This is the low point of my life. I got absolutely battered with my mum at the kids' BAFTAs. Didn't think I was going to wear. That's how drunk I was. I walked on stage after winning my first ever BAFTA. And do you know how I started my acceptance speech? I went, about time. <laughs> Ian Sterling. That's a wrong gong right there. Well done, Ian. Thank very, you. Very, very good for that. Um, I'm done, Mal, actually. What? 
Yeah, I'm finished, but I didn't see my invitation there. That's because you're not invited. And that's the end of the show. Oh, hang on. No, it isn't. We've got a little bit more. <laughs> it's time for our final round. Guilty as charged. <laughs> I'm going to list a number of petty crimes and minor felonies to our panel, and I'm going to ask them to raise their official <laughs> unforgivable paddles if they are indeed guilty of any. Now, we ruddy well need to hurry up with this. Lou and I are going away for a city break to Leatherhead, and I refuse to pay for a bag. So, <laughs> Lou here is going to wear all of my clothes. Panel, you've got the time it takes until Lou is wearing absolutely all of my holiday garb. Then the game is over. Good. Graze your paddles, my friends, if you are guilty of oh. lying to the dentist about how much you floss. <laughs> Getting revenge on a friend who insulted your mum by shitting in their bin. <laughs> Jamie. Repackaging used porn DVDs for resale while working in an adult entertainment store. <laughs> Fern. Taking a job on a TV show where you had to drive a car with somebody but you couldn't drive and then failing your driving test and Tinchy Strider had to do all the driving. <laughs> Jordan. Ignoring a two-year-old that is almost drowning in a ball pit and doing nothing about it because you thought that the kid was being pathetic. <laughs> Breaking into the kitchen while at boarding school with your friend Charlie and stealing all the hagen dazs then not being able to escape out of the window and you both had to spend the night there. Mm. I'm done! Oh, she's done! Yeah. Well done, Lou! She's done it!